Hi everyone, all the campers out there. Uh, my name's Teresa and I wanted to make a video because so many of you have and I thought, oh, what fun I want to as well. And I feel like I might have a couple of little things to throw in there from a different perspective or however you want to look at it. But um, I started my full-time RV life this kind of boiled up to from this past summer but I didn't get my um, Fleetwood it's a 2003 Fleetwood flare um, named Goldie until um, about October and by the end of October November I started my journey uh, after I had sold my as you all call it, the Sticks and Bricks house, um, which I do miss, I'll admit, um, only because I'd lived there so long and, you know, had a lot of memories there. And, you know, I, I did love my home and I loved where I lived, but I just felt like that wasn't going to be enough for me, you know, for the rest of my whatever I have left of my life. So, you know... Um, because I do have, um, you know, I'd have aspirations to, um, travel and see the beautiful America that we live in. So, um, I don't know when that all boiled about, but I knew one day I would be going places. And so evidently now's the time, but, um, I'll get into that story some other time. But what I wanted to do was just sort of introduce myself and um, let you know that I have learned a few little things too in just the short time that I've been on the road and I've been avidly watching videos and whatnot on YouTube to see uh, so many you know, campers out there. I was shocked at first, and then it was like, wow, this is really awesome, super awesome. So I just wanted to contribute a little bit in, you know, from my corner of the world <laughs> or my campsite in the desert. This is Goldie from the inside, my front door. And the sign there says, uh, home of the free because of the brave. And I've decided to go ahead with a Mexican um, blanket theme in my RV. Uh, I see the blankets are also located on the um, dining set there. I got bright colors because I really love bright colors. And... You know, they're not exactly the same because that's just not how Mexican blankets are. But um, this also is a Mexican um, tablecloth that I picked up many years ago uh, when I went to uh, Mission, Texas, and visited the uh, Mexican, Mexico. Um, and my refrigerator. And then... Uh, there is the stove. Now, the stove, I just learned how to light that pilot light. But, you know, I do, I can cook on it. But uh, my favorite thing really is the um, the microwave. And it's also a convection oven. So, you know, if I got electric, that's the way I'm going. But And Mr. Coffee, got to have him. Uh, got water. And... Um, one little thing we talk about a lot is security out here. So I just wanted to show you that what I have here is a flashlight that, you know, it's actually a flashlight, but it also delivers a little bit of a zap to somebody. Now, yeah, I don't think I'll ever need it, but my brother thought I did. So there it is. Still working on figuring out the solar thing. <laughs> yeah. All right, so this is the bedroom. So as you come in, it's a narrow opening, so it's kind of tight through there. But then you get in here, and it's really big because this whole thing is a tip-out. 
So I have double closets here, which are very, very spacious, very spacious. And then another full length closet under my coats, which I've got hanging on the tip out. But behind that is the, the door for the full length tip outs. And there I am, barefoot. Hi. <laughs> All right, so then the mirrors also make it look a lot larger back here. You can see that I've got some throw pillows on my bed, which was a gift from um, the place where I bought my RV named Coal Rain in Indianapolis. And they're very handy because I usually put them up along the wall or the window there and the wall where the, there's a little breeze that comes in through the window. So it kind of blocks that from your head. And so that's part of what I do with this pillow, is just use it like that. Blocks the wind from my head, believe it or not. Yep, and there's storage up here. Lots of storage. Three more compartments that the whole thing basically is storage. And the back window, which is the emergency exit. Also more storage over here and below. And there's more storage above where I keep a little TV. I don't usually watch it though. And then down below I have more storage, but this could be made into a vanity if you wanted to by putting a chair in front of that little desk top. Or it could also be a, a mini office and then more storage. So it's really very spacious. And then I keep my water, six gallon containers. Um, and this is important too. Um, shoes, you need to have little house slippers because it's really cold in your feet sometimes on the floor. So whatever it is that's coming my way in 2018, I welcome it, I'm looking forward to it. And I want to wish everyone, since it's this is being recorded like a couple days before Christmas, a Merry Christmas 2017 and a Happy New Year in 2018. And um, I know. I also want to address the fact that I say um a lot. Um is my natural resting spot in my speech pattern because I'm collecting my thoughts. And I apologize for that. But I'm an old woman, and sometimes I need to pause and collect my thoughts. So, just bear with the ums. Uh, or not, you know, I mean, that's your choice. But if you want to watch the video, then, you know, I'm sorry about that. 